during World War II, uh, there was great concern that Japan attack would attack the west coast of the United States. They did at one point where a submarine surfaced and they launched um, artillery towards a, uh, um, a facility. Uh, to counter this, the U.S. Navy purchased several Goodyear blimps um, from Goodyear to patrol the coast to look for Japanese uh, submarines. And the blimps were, as you can see, they were quite big. And uh, they were 150 feet long. They could travel at 49 miles per hour. And they carried a, c a crew of two, sometimes three. And uh, they were on the lookout for... Japanese um, uh, submarine surfacing in that capacity. And on August 16th, 1942, a, uh, uh, a blimp went out for a routine patrol and something quite peculiar happened. The, uh, the blimp was heavily armed. It had depth chargers, had a machine gun, and uh, it went up for a routine patrol, and at 7.50, it raided back to headquarters that it had found an oil slick. Okay, it went to investigate the oil slick. They dropped a couple of smoke flares, and two boats close by uh, even could see inside the, the blimp. They said they actually see the people in the blimp, the two crew members. Um, one of the uh, boats sounded alarm. The other one rolled up their fishing nets, and the blimp circled for one hour investigating the oil slick, which I think was a Japanese submarine. There was no communication with headquarters. After one hour, headquarters became concerned. They sent out two planes to investigate. And the blimp was seen at 2,000 feet, which is a really high elevation. It's not an elevation that routinely um, is, is geared towards flying. And um, shortly after that, it descended down to 50 feet in a way low uh, altitude, and it was seen heading towards the coast. And let's see if I can get a screen up here. And occurred when the two-man crew of a U.S. And that's all I'm looking for. And like I said, it's quite a case story. Quite a story here. When a blimp uh, takes off for a patrol and just doesn't return, it's definitely... There's one of the crew members there. There's another one there. Uh, if you can see it on the screen, and there's the blimp. It was referred to as an L-8, by the way. And um, uh, the oil slick really got their attention. And unfortunately, it may have led to their demise. And... Uh, there's a good clip of uh, how a blimp functions and stuff. You see some of the variables that... Are, that it, it's, uh, it engulfs. And um, the blimp started heading towards the coast. At about 50 feet above water, it was seen by uh, people that um, were actually swimming. Some of them made attempts to grab some of the cables that were protruding from it. And then as it hit land, it actually um, bumped into like a hill and dropped a depth charge, which did not explode. And at this junction, people on the land, on land actually said they saw people in the blimp. Now, whether they saw them or not at that distance remains unclear, but they did report that, and two phone calls were made to authorities, and when turn followed the blimp, realizing it was in um, it was in chaos. Uh, exactly what was how was who was uh, steering it, and or if anybody was steering it was was, was quite an issue. And um, let me get another screen on there. And The blimp then uh, began to deflate, and it landed in a street, a residential street. You can see the picture there. It's, uh, it's, it shows a good view of the cabin. The front door was open, and the life vests were missing, and there was nobody. You know, the two crew members were also missing. And um, it landed in such capacity, it was so casual the landing, 
They glided down. The pirates could have actually walked out. That's how casual it was. Now inside the blimp, the supplies and fuel uh, were, were plentiful. And there's um, a suitcase full of secret material. If they were they, they, going to be in chaos, they were uh, told to throw the secret material briefcase overboard. And that was still on the uh, inside the cabin. Now the batteries were depleted. And that's just never an answer of why. Now it's, what's peculiar about this is what happened to this, the, uh, the crew. Okay, were they picked up by a Japanese submarine? Did they fall overboard? Did they one try to fix something on the uh, on the cabin? And he um, and another one went and he got into uh, what well, like he was going to fall, and the other one went to help him out. What exactly happened to these two pilots has just never been answered. Now they were, they were never found despite extensive search, and their life vests were never found. And you'd think their life vests would keep afloat for quite a while, but that exactly why they were never found remains unclear. And let's see if I can get another. Let's see if I can get some more. I can see quite a uh, quite a crowd went to see see the uh, when it, see the uh, Goodyear blimp when it landed, and um, you see it's a it's a very good sized blimp and it made the newspaper and uh, it baffled the Navy it wasn't until a year later that they declared the uh, pilots deceased and um, as time went forward the uh, blimp was refurbished and used used by Goodyear for sporting events from 1969 to 1982 and uh, as you can see there's a picture of it uh, being used by Goodyear and uh, it ended up in a museum where it was refurbished. And if I can get that smallest click on there, you'll be able to see that. Uh, let's see. Now here's an interesting... When they refurbished it, it ended up in a naval museum. And there's a picture of it. You can see its size, and you can see the uh, inside as well. So exactly what happened to these two pilots remains unclear. It's never been answered till this day, and it's one of those prolific unsolved mysteries of World War II. And it's been highlighted and on um, there's stuff on the internet about it, and there's stuff on YouTube, and it was highlighted. It was discussed on the TV show Unsolved Mysteries in the 80s. And no answers have ever emerged. You know, theories, did they fall out? Did, uh, were they picked up by a Japanese submarine? Were, were, they, were they spies that defected? This remains unclear. It's quite an unsolved uh, mystery. And uh, uh, makes an excellent story, unfortunately. As time went, went forward, the Navy just never solved the issue. And uh, let's see, provide everything loaded up. Okay, let's see. Make sure everything it's right. Everything went through okay. You should be able to have gotten the review as well as seeing the the clips.